Goku and Anne Frank in Until the End of Time, Part 2. One month. Well, it didn't feel like a month. To Anne Frank, a Jew in hiding from the Nazis, it seemed like a year. One month since the fateful encounter with the mysterious man from another world, who she only knew as Goku. The handsome stranger had stepped through time and into her life, then disappeared without a trace. Anne was almost sure that they'd never meet again, even though not one day passed without her dreaming of him. <coughs> Just stop. Please, stop. Little did she know, however, that their lives were tied by the unbreakable red string of fate. Ugh. It was another boring day in the secret annex. Anne sat on the bed of her room, writing in her diary. It never occurred to her, however, that this entry would be her last. As she wrote in the quiet attic, there was a loud noise from downstairs. Her heart jumped with both fear and excitement. Was it them? The Nazis? Or could it be... him? She had no idea whether to run downstairs or hide. The decision, however, was made for her. Her door flew open, and a tall soldier was visible in the doorway glaring at her. The cries of her family members and friends were tuned out as Anne only thought of one thing. She stood up and followed the soldier out of her room, down the stairs, and in into the back of a truck. I'll never see him, my one true love, ever again. Oh, God. And all those years of hiding, they were all for naught. Then Anne realized that she left her precious diary in her room. She broke loose from the officer and made a dash back into the shop when he removed a gun from his holster and fired a shot in her direction. Anne fell to the floor. Anne lay on the floor, feeling searing pain run through her leg where the bullet had met its mark. The Gestapo officer menacingly moved toward her, grinning, when all of a sudden, there was a blinding flash of light, causing the officer to shield his eyes. A huge cloud of smoke appeared next to Anne, blocking her from the soldier's vision. When the smoke cleared, he was in for quite a surprise. There was Goku, holding Anne in his arms, standing next to a huge metal capsule. Goku! cried Anne. You came back! For me! Goku, smi Goku smiled. Anything for you, my dear, he said. Our love will never be lost. Not until the end of time. Stop! I can't, I can't take it anymore. I can't. Okay. Okay, just, just read. It's a dumb fanfic. Just read, read. The Gestapo officer turned tail and ran, but Goku was too quick for him. After laying Anne on the concrete, he dashed toward the Nazi and knocked him to the ground unconscious with only one blow. Nazi scum, muttered Goku as he spit on his enemy's limp body. Okay, that's not very Goku-like at all. Not at all. <clears throat> he then returned to Anne. Here, I have something for you, Goku said as he removed a small bean from his pocket. What on earth is this? asked Anne. Goku smiled. Remember? How ignorant she was to what was everyday life to him. Okay. It was supposed to be remembering. <clears throat> A sensu bean, he said. Just eat it and it will cure your leg. <clears throat> and, and followed his instructions and popped the bean into her mouth. As the wound on her calve, calf magically healed. Now come on commanded Goku. We've got some Nazi ass to kick! And jumped on the mysterious Saiyan's back as he launched off into the sky. How do, uh, mm. <laughs> After only a few moments, the two of them arrived in Berlin. Tanks were parading down the street as Adolf Hitler himself stood on a platform overlooking it all. Stay here. Goku said, dropping Anne in a shaded area under a tree. He then flew straight toward the parade of tanks, fists outstretched, screaming as loud as he could. The soldiers below scattered in terror 
while the tanks tried to aim their cannons at him, he was too quick and nimble for them, however, and opened the hatch of a nearby panzer, then headed inside. After dispatching of the soldiers in control of the war machine, he took the wheel. He fired round after round into the crowd of Nazi soldiers. What? What? Why would Goku need a tank? He is a tank! He, he's like... He's like 20 times more powerful than a freaking tank. He could just blast them all with his bare hands. Oh, God. Occasionally firing at the round... Uh, occasionally firing at the other tanks. After only minutes, there was nothing but a cloud of dust and corpses. Goku emerges from the tank's hatch, smiling, now that he had done his duty. When all the dust cleared, there were only two people remaining on the parade ground. Goku, the sane hero, and Adolf Hitler, the most evil man ever to walk the earth. Anne watched from, from nearby, fearfully, as she saw the two men stare at each other for what seemed like hours. <laughs> her one true love and her ultimate oppressor. It had come to, down to this. So, Hitler said... Okay, I can't do a good German accent. So, Hitler said jovially, you took out all of my men. However, you aren't going to defeat me. Hitler then jumped down from his platform and down onto the street in front of Goku, pulling a chain gun from the ground nearby. Goku quickly jumped behind a ruined tank. Adolf opened fire. The tank made decent cover, but it wasn't long until it would be torn apart by the hail of bullets. Goku had to act. He dashed out from the side of the tank and flew as fast as he could toward Hitler, who had no time to react. He grabbed the chain gun out of his enemy's hand and snapped it over his knee with ease. Hitler stumbled backwards, shocked at the turn of events. Goku smirked and then said, It's come down to this, you and me, fighting like men. If you admit defeat now, I'll kill you rather painlessly. <sighs> Goku had the, defin the definite advantage, or so it seemed. Hitler burst into a laugh as Goku looked on quizzically. The mustache man slowly the mustachioed man slowly rose into the air as his brown hair and pencil mustache turned into a blonde blonde color. His brown eyes turned blue. Goku reeled in horror. Hitler continued laughing and finally said, Goku, you came here expecting to find a madman. But instead, you found a god. Hitler had become, are you ready for this? A super saiyan. Hitler, a super saiyan. Uh, yeah. Really? So yeah, Hitler's a super saiyan. What in the holy mother of fuck? But uh, this has been Dork and Beans reading Goku and Anne Frank in Until the End of Time, Part 2. Join me next time for Part 3. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell everybody about me on YouTube. Later. God help us all.